Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day it may be there for you. You know who this is. This is Jermaine Oyla Felton here, Brother Felton. And so I wanted to, you know, just go over some things. I mean, this was a very, very important and very good uh, watch our study that we're going to have for tomorrow. Um, and it's very good because it's talking about the conscience and everything like that. The title of the article definitely is, Is Your Conscience a Reliable Guide? And so, of course, that is something that we all want to take into consideration uh, when it comes to certain things. This article speaks about recreation, of course, and definitely about health care needs and everything like that. Of course. No one, you know, in the Christian congregation has a right to tell somebody else what it is that they are to do with themselves or their body um, and everything like that. And the main thing that we want to do as far as our conscience is concerned, as I'm seeing here as well, too, is to make sure that whatever decisions it is that we make, it does not fray or, you know, distract us from doing what is the most important things and taking care of our godly devotion, our spiritual life. And so, you know, the, just the main reason why I'm putting an article out or I'm making a video, I should say, about this is, you know, I would never want any of the friends here, um, my Christian brothers and sisters, to get anything confused in what it is that, you know, I may do in my life. Of course, we all have a personal decision to make when it comes to, you know, the bodily training that we do in recreation, you know, as far as exercise and everything like that. I've seen some brothers here and there's a, a fitness group and I'm saying to myself, okay, that's what they want to do. You know, I'm not going to, you know, judge them as the scriptures say uh, we shouldn't be judging one another if that's what they do for their bodily training good as long as they are keeping up with their studies and doing what they need to do for Jehovah all the more better and likewise with myself uh, many of you here may have heard me say it numerous times this is something that I personally deal with I didn't ask to be sick if you want to even put that word on it or ill or ill weld or ill weld I should say ill weld mm, that's a good word um, but you know I didn't ask for this yes I've been dealing with multiple sclerosis for the past 15 years as far as I know um, and it was weird because when that 15 years started in let's say January of the year 2000 you know um the condition started, but I also ran into something else that, you know, was already starting to help me in taking care of my body. And that's why I really feel in my heart of hearts, mm, I have a strong passion for this, that I was already putting into my body and doing the bodily things that I need to do for myself to help, you know, build my immune system and everything like that. Maintain my immune system, I should say, support it. And so, you know, I definitely would never want anybody to get confused that I'm pushing anything on you as far as your medical treatments or anything like that is concerned. Um, you know, the article, you know, goes on to say that, um, you know, as far as medical treatments are concerned involving, you know, in the taking of blood and everything like that, it says... You know, this knowledge could influence a Christian conscience when it makes personal decisions regarding minor things as far as blood is concerned. And then when we want to take care of ourselves, uh, you know, I don't want to get too confused with a lot of things. I have so many thoughts in my head, but I got to keep it simple. Um, let's just say this as a way of an illustration. If you own a car or you own anything like that. <clears throat> some type of machinery um we take it to the gas station right fuel it up why to make sure that it keeps running oil why to make sure that it keeps running maintained 
And so basically, that's mainly what I do in my life. Like I said again, I deal with multiple sclerosis. Many of you out there may not even deal with that or even know all of what is entailed in it. And so that's why me personally, I have to stay on top of things. I want to feel as good as I can for as long as I possibly can. You know, if it is, you know, my father's will to walk into the new system, I would like to do that. And so, you know, I mean, it just gets a little confusing when it comes to these things. But of course, we all have our own consciences. You do what you want to do. I do what I want to do. Again, there's so many things that I have to deal with. And if I didn't do what I had to do to take care of myself, who knows? I probably wouldn't even be here talking to you right now. So, you know, I just want to say I love you all, friends, and everything. And, of course, anything that I put up as far as my oils or anything like that is concerned, my supplements and stuff like that, definitely. It's not here ever to stumble anyone. But if there is a word of advice or maybe something that somebody could look into for themselves, all the more better. You know, I don't push anything on anybody. I never would do anything like that. I love you. And so I just want to see us all doing all that we can to take care of ourselves as best we can. Of course, we all know that are in the faith, we're all growing old, we're getting sick, and we're dying, you know, and everything like or heading towards death. Uh, the only thing I say reasonably for myself, personally, is, of course, I'm not going to want to live a life or do things that are going to just help and accelerate that process. If I could help to maybe slow it down, um, I'm not going to say completely pause it or anything like that, but just slow it down and just feel as good as I, as I possibly can so that I could continue to maintain myself in my ministry and whatever else it is that I have to do for Jehovah. Again, I will never push anything on anybody or anything like that. But this article is definitely a very important one that we all could take into consideration for whatever it is that we do. You know, um, like I said, I can't say it enough. I love you all. And I all I want everybody to feel as well and as vibrant as they possibly can, both in mind and spirit and heart, everything like that. And so with that. Uh, I think I spoke enough here, but this article really touches my heart and everything like that. I'm going to do what I need to do to take care of myself. And that's all I can do is encourage everyone to do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Um, may the love of Jehovah be with you. And may I speak with you soon. Take care now. And I will talk to you soon. If anybody has any questions, they're more than welcome to bring them to me. Or anything like that. Or just want to talk. Let's have a good time today. Take care now. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Agape.